All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, Call Hala Yahawa, Bashem Yahawa Shai, Bashem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who've ruled well and who taught me this truth. And shalom to you, sincere Akiam, out there listening and learning and pushing this truth. And shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to rot this out. It'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And it's going to be a, another quick one. Um, I just wanted to spotlight this video here from uh, the first post. It's a good it's a good watch. It's kind of long, 30 minutes, but um it's a good it's a very edifying as far as uh how the global economy is doing, which we know um it's circling the drain right along with Babylon the Great. All right? So lock it real quick. I'm going to change the uh, thumbnail. I don't I'm not going to play the video, you know, I, I don't like to I don't want to get copyright stricken. All right? So um you see 500 billion global corp 500 billion dollars 500 billion global corporates in debt distress 500 billion global corporates in debt distress right so um let's read a little bit of this uh this lock of the video is, is entitled as debts pile up a look at why global corporates are struggling so let's read a little bit it says uh as debt as debt piles up a look at why global corporates are struggling uh, that's that should probably say corporations it says leading businesses across the world are continuing with mass layoffs workers are in distress why are corporates struggling okay and we know ultimately it's by design the design of the wicked elite okay you know um and we know we usually get on the elite you know of esau edom you know, the so-called, what's that, 13 ruling families. You got the Rothschilds, uh, the Gettys, the DuPonts, the Oppenheimers, the Vanderbilts, um, so on and so forth. But you also got the elite amongst these heathen, these other heathen nations, man. The elite amongst Elam, Ishmael, um, you know, Ammon, Moab. You got the elite. And the elites amongst these nations, they're actually all in cahoots. You know, they're all in, they're all confederate with one another, you know, ultimately uh, Psalms 83 tells you about that. You know, they all um, I think that's in Revelation. They all gave consent unto the beast for for time for a moment, you know, you know, and uh, we always go into this um, uh, Jacob's trouble. We always go into that um, this uh, global collapse, you know, this uh, so-called reset. It's all, all roads are ultimately leading to the Karagma and it's all by design. You know, it's all by design by the wicked elite. They're collapsing this, not just, uh, ba not just Babylon the great, they're collapsing this thing globally. They're collapsing this current fiat system that's set up globally. All right. This fiat fiscal system, this paper money is, is a global thing. And we know it's going to be ultimately a thing of the past. That's why all these nations are all of a sudden, quotation marks, all of a sudden, they're all scrambling to set up a CBDC, a central bank digital currency, right? You know, and you just had the BRICS roll out, allegedly or rolling out, you know, um, that their CBDC backed by gold, you know, America's rolling out their Fed now, you know, it's no coincidence. All right. All roads are leading to the Karagma. And we know the elite, they they do something called um, order out of chaos, you know, pressure from above, pressure from below, the Hegelian dialect. They're bringing in the squeeze, okay? When the wicked are in authority, the people mourn. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. The people are mourning, you know, you know, but you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. This is just the beginning. All right, so again, I just wanted to spotlight this video here. It's a, it's a good watch, again, from the first post, as you can see on the screen, right? And um, the main scripture that was in my mind uh, when I was watching it is Ecclesiastes 12 and 3, you know? 
in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. You know, the keepers of the house, you can see it. <laughs> they're, they're, they're still laying off, man. They're, they're in so-called global distress, Salakia. You know? You know? Allegedly. You know? <laughs> Allegedly. You know, I, I'm using that word loosely. You know, as debts pile up. You know? So, um, again, you ain't seen nothing yet. So if the keepers of the house are trembling, how much more so you average Joes? The average Joes, the average worker, you know? You really about to feel it. And a lot of you are, are, are already feeling it, you know? You know? But it's going to get much worse. As it says, um, what's that, Isaiah? It says, there shall be no work for Egypt, you know? That's the times that we're coming into. Which is gonna lead, which is gonna lead to complete and utter chaos. Evil days are quickly approaching, mixed with the uh, famine, the the the, the, the sedition. It's gonna lead to sedition in the streets, you know. So, um, it would behoove you to sincerely repent and seek the Lord while He may be found. So this is Ecclesiastes again. The main point was in verse three, but this this scripture was in my mind, you know. Ecclesiastes twelve and one. Now. It says, Slaka, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, in your strength, while you got liberty, while you got time, you know, you know, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth and not just remember him, but, um, you know, do the things pleasing unto you, how about you, how to the best of your ability, put on as the elect, offend as least as possible, get this wine in you, this wisdom, knowledge and understanding. You know, in you, this wisdom and knowledge, because it says what wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Store up these righteous works, these acts in heaven where neither wrath, rust nor moth doth corrupt. You know, remember now thy offend as least as possible. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not because it's, 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 it's um, inevitable. Evil days are coming. They're quickly approaching that we're, that we're at the door of them. You know, Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, the third's woe. We're right there. We're right there. It says, while the evil days come not, nor years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and grinders cease because they are few. And those that look out of the windows be darkened, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. All right? So, hey, that, that's the time. Hey, now is the time to seek the Lord while he may be found. You know, remember Yahweh Bashim Yahweh in your youth before the evil days come not. Because if the keepers of the house are going to be trembling, how much more so the average Joe, okay? So, uh, like I said, I was gonna, I'm going to make this short. Um, Isaiah 55 and 6, it says, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, while he may be found. Okay, now you can find Yahweh Bashim Shai, chiefly through his men, starting with the uh, elder apostles on down, and all the, the like-minded brethren, Akiam, out there pushing the same sound doctrine. Warning you over and over, over and over to repent, okay? You know? Because what evil days are quickly approaching? You know, you got these uh, video epistles. You got all the, the, t the time in the world. You got all the, the resources. Hey, the famine of the world is coming. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to withdraw his men. Esau Edom is going to lock down this internet. He's going to lock down this truth. He's going to um, demonize the men of the Lord. You know, some of us are going to be martyrs, as it tells you. Some of us are going to get put in concentration camps. Some of us are going to be um, beheaded for this for this word. You know, and 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 uh, what's gonna, what's going what's going to keep you stable in them times? This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Everything you you've been you um you've been storing up. You know, you know that oil that you've been you know gathering. You know and holding fast. You know. So it says, seek ye the Lord Yahweh while he may be found. Again, that's implying that there's going to come a time when you ain't going to find Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? And you're going to have to uh, rely strictly on faith, you know, and the time is coming. 
You know, it's going to take big faith to 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 um to 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 endure the times that were that are coming, man. You know. So again, seek ye the Lord Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Hey, <laughs> he's near to the point where it's um what what Elder Apostle Har like to say agnosium. This word is out there so much that it'll make you sick, cause brothers brothers are on fire. We constantly banging out these um, video epistles, these rebukes, these exhortations. You know the evidence is overwhelming. We day in and day out, this truth is out there. But hey, the time is coming where it ain't gonna be so readily accessible. It says, "Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts." And we all fell short of the glory. We all were going off. But hey, now is the time to repent, to turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Yeah, now now is the time to to, to lean upon lean upon Yahweh Bashim um, uh, what does it say? That's Proverbs. Um, I'm butchering it, but it says, uh, uh, lean not upon your lean not upon your own understanding. Trust in uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai with all thy uh, heart, and he will order thy steps, man. You know, then that's what we're doing. You know, we, we're, we're seeking the old paths. You know, it says, seek ye the Lord Jehovah while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord Jehovah and he will have mercy upon him and to our power Jehovah, for he will abundantly pardon. OK, and that's what we're ho that's what we're hoping for. We're looking to be saved because we are not yet saved. We are yet this day in captivity. You know? You know? So hey, we're looking to be we're looking to be saved, man. But you gotta have faith plus works. Faith being alone is dead, you know? Faith without works is dead. We're gonna be saved by faith plus our works. You know? So I'm gonna close out here. Baruch four and um 28 is the main point. I start at 25. Baruch 4 and 25. Uh, my children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from Yahweh. For the a um a th this uh, this hell we're catching, you know these scourges, you know they're sent for amendment. You know these curses, the they're upon us for a sign and a wonder. For us to consider and repent and turn back to our power. Acknowledge our offense. You know, and repent. My children, suffer pa the patience and the faith of the saints, man. Patiently waiting for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to redeem us and recompense our enemies. You know, waiting for Yahweh Bashim Zephaniah, waiting on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to rise up to the prey. You know, my children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from Yahweh. For thine enemy have persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction. Hey, that's what we hope. Well, we can't wait, man. We're hoping, man, to see the downfall of the, our enemy and shall tread upon his neck. We going to get get back, baby. We going to get some get back. You know, Esau even going to drink double of his cup. My delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemies. Be of good comfort. O oh, my children, and cry unto Yahweh. How do we do that? By repenting. These video epistles, praying, you know, um, be, be, being obedient to the best of our ability, you know, putting Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in remembrance, you know, that's the good news, man. Our bid is up. Lamentations 4 and 21 on down. Our, our bid is up, you know. Affliction shall not rise a, a, a second time, you know. Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto Yahweh, for he, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has not done away with his people. The Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Ye sons of Jacob are not, are not consumed. For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh, so being returned, seek him ten times more. We say that all the time. You got to be on fire. On fire for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know. So it says, "For he that brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation." Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee, 
And um, right now he's comforting us with this word, you know, you know, you know, but he's he's physically going to comfort comfort us when he redeems us and gives us this uh, this new covenant, you know puts the laws and statutes in our in our inward parts, you know, takes away this fleshy heart. I mean, Slocky, takes away the stony heart and gives us this fleshy heart and we'll be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, you know? This mortal's going to put on immortality and we're going to catch wreck with Yahweh Shai HaMashiach because we're joint heirs with Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. So that's what we're waiting on, for Yahweh Bashim Shai to rise up to the prey. And that day is quickly approaching. But, hey, prior to that, all hell is going to be breaking loose, you know? Through much tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom, you know? So, hey, man, keep pushing, keep fighting. We're close. Shalom. Wa abad babal. Kwam Allah.